Hello and welcome to the Victoria Art Gallery. My name's Catherine Wall, I'm Collections Manager here and today I'm going to be talking to you about works by women artists in our collection. In this episode, we're going to talk about Rosa Bonheur, who was probably the most famous and successful female artist of the 19th century. Rosa Bonheur was born in Bordeaux in France in 1822. She found fame and fortune as a painter of animals. She was absolutely obsessed with them. Now, when she was a child, she was apparently very badly behaved, very unruly, and she would only learn her alphabet with the help of drawings of animals to kind of, you know, spell out the alphabet with the names of different animals. Otherwise, she had no interest in academic work of any kind. And she spent her whole life being a rebel. At the age of 12, her parents decided that she should be a seamstress. But Rosa, she was quite a tomboy and she had absolutely no interest in womanly pursuits like sewing. So in the end, she followed her father into an artistic career and she became incredibly successful. Now, obviously, as a young woman, terribly interested in art, Rosa Bonheur would have loved to have gone to art school. But in the mid 19th century, that wasn't really an option open to women painters. So instead, she was taught by her father for a while, and then she sort of pursued her studies in a more independent way. So she'd visit the Louvre and copy the paintings there. And she would even go into the abattoirs of Paris to look at animals as they were being cut up because her interest in animal anatomy was so intense that she wanted to see exactly how animals were put together. And it's quite interesting, isn't it, when you think of a young woman in France in the mid 19th century going into abattoirs to learn about animal anatomy. That's really not what you would expect to find. Now, this is the only work by Rosa Bonheur that we have in our collection. And if you can look closely at it, you see it's quite a remarkable little drawing. It's obviously a very quickly done, very casually done sketch. It's on a scruffy little piece of paper and you can see that it's been cut back presumably because it got damaged around the edges and somebody thought best to cut away the damaged parts. But even though it's quite a casually done sketch with these rather sort of disparate elements thrown together on this piece of paper, you can see that all of the animals are drawn with great care and great attention. And they have the most strange and mesmerizing faces. They have real personality. And this is because Rosa Bonheur absolutely loved animals. She much preferred them to people. She certainly much preferred them to men. She was always very, very rude about men. She really felt that animals had souls and that their existence really mattered. And in fact, at her home, in her chateau, she had a whole menagerie of all sorts of animals and they were among her closest companions. Now, Rosa Bonheur found that painting and drawing animals served as a very solid foundation for her career. Now, if you think of British art in the 19th century, one of the big names that springs to mind is Edwin Landseer. So in a sense, Rosa Bonheur was sort of the French version of Landseer. She spent her whole career painting animals of all sorts, lots of cattle, lions, deer, all sorts. She received commissions from the French state for pictures of livestock. And she was so successful that she even came over to Britain and met Queen Victoria. And if you think about Queen Victoria and her love of Landseer's works, it's not surprising that she too loved Rosa Bonheur's pictures and even bought some for the Royal Collection. Rosa Bonner's most famous work of art is called the Horse Fair. Um, it's now in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, but there's also a copy of it in the National Gallery in London. Now, it shows this tumultuous scene on a street in Paris with lots of horses. They're almost running around, you know, they're, they're almost galloping. And it looks like quite an unusual environment to find a female artist. And Rosa Bonheur faced a lot of challenges 
in going to those kind of places like horse fairs where she wanted to observe animals at close quarters and create pictures of them because those kind of events it was a very very macho environment and certainly as a younger woman she found that if she went to a horse fair everybody would be pointing and staring because it was just not a context where women were normally seen so what she decided to do, because she just wanted to blend in so that she could do her work, so she decided that if she wore trousers to horse fairs, then nobody would take any notice of her. But there was a little problem with this, because in France, even as recently as the early 20th century, it was actually against the law for women to wear trousers. So Rosa Bonheur had to write to the French government and explain why she needed a special dispensation to wear trousers. And, you know, they ummed and ahed, they thought about the pros and cons of it, but in the end they decided that because she was a successful artist building her career as an animal painter, they would indeed allow her to wear trousers. And in 2022, the Musée des Beaux-Arts in Bordeaux teamed up with the Musée d'Orsay in Paris to organise a big exhibition celebrating the life and work of this most remarkable of French artists. <laughs>